Hey, what's good, everybody? It's El Gordo Mamon. We are back with another podcast, the Here We Go Again podcast, man. Today, we got a dude from the Central Valley. This fool sings corridos. He looks white, fool, but he's not, fool. Give it up for uh, Isaac right here, man. Lep official on on TikTok, Instagram, OnlyFans, everything, dog. <laughs> yep, up, yes, dog? sir. <laughs> He get, he's like, hey, bro, I'm going to be in Salinas. I'm like, oh, fuck, bring your gun, dog. <laughs> this was our researching. It's like, he's yeah. like, he was uh, telling me, like, hey, fool, they just kill somebody. That, like, yeah, dog, it's natural current here, dog. Yeah, it's like, it's like a mini Fresno out here, so. Yeah, he was like, he was like, where you, my, where you staying for? He's like, oh, right here in the Holiday Inn. I'm like, oh, that's where the hookers kick it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Next to In-N-Out. Now, yeah, yeah. I, told, I told my girl, I was like, yeah, Gordo said that all the hookers are over there. And she was like, nah. I was like, bro, he lives here, so. Well, right yeah. there where you're at, there, there's like in the motel six across. Yeah. They kick it right there. And then if you go down the street a little bit, down the street right there, they'll be like walking and shit. You, you just hit holler at them. What's yeah. up, girl? How much? Oh, $20. So they're cheap, they're cheaper than Fresno then, or so how much is Fresno? Fifteen, damn dog. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in Fresno, they're cheaper, dog. It's only fifteen dollars for. <laughs> yeah, man. So what's up, man? What you what's, what's going on? Ah, uh, nothing much. Just planning for the wedding and doing my internship for school Dang. and yeah. So just trying to finish. Once the wedding's over, then the summer gonna try to do more content. But right now, just been hella busy. So it's good that we got on the yeah. podcast together. Yes, so. I'm excited, bro. Like I said, I've been, I met him in uh, Ridley, what, like maybe a month ago? About yeah, a month ago. A month ago, yeah. And Ridley went to the show. It was rainy. It was all crazy. I like, come through, bro. Just check it out. You know, I wanted to meet him. I see, you know, mm-hmm. see, I like to link up with other people, bro, and just, you know, connect with you, bro, and let you, I mean, let, I mean, obviously let you know what I'm doing. You mm-hmm. let me know what you're doing. And we I mean, if we can help each other on social media, because, there's a lot of people out there, bro, that are on there and get a following and then they don't know what to do with it, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why. The, yeah, this is my first podcast. So I've been waiting to do one of these. Um, It's important to like expand your horizons. Yeah. Like, not just TikTok, trying to do YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So trying to get on more podcasts, link with more people. So I always saw I always saw your videos. And I mean, I haven't linked with a lot of people. I've just been out of state and this and that. So finally getting to collab with people, do do podcasts. And it's finally like. We're, we're about to hit the hit the road running so yeah once yeah. you start getting like I, like this year for me bro like since mm-hmm. the year started we've been i mean i went to i've been to san diego went to new mexico uh i mean we're planning to go to connecticut mm-hmm. uh, in, Je- in Je- uh, june some dude wants us to do is some dude contracted us to do comedy at his wedding for in, in, in connecticut, <laughs> in connecticut <laughs> bro. yeah like, i've never been to the east coast dog. yeah the weirdest spot dog so hopefully that that shit goes tight bro and ryan i don't know but, uh, I mean, yeah, I know. I see. I follow you, bro. I see your shit. I see you play sports, you know, college football, yeah. bro. And this fool's out look good at everything, dog. He sings Corredos, plays college <laughs> football, bro. Married a Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, yeah, growing like growing up, like, I've been playing football since I was two. So, yeah. like, football's been, like, the only thing in my life that, that I had. So, I did football. And then eventually I got to, to high school. And I got recruited by multiple schools, like University of Wyoming, University of San Diego. I was also a track star too, oh, so yeah? I was like, I had offers from University of Iowa, Sac State, a bunch of bunch of different schools. So then I was like, choosing to decide, yeah. like, am I gonna do take a scholarship for track or football? Social media wasn't even in the question yet. Yeah. So, yeah. So then I get to I get to Wyoming and then playing football, I end up transferring to a school in Colorado, and then TikTok came out. I think everybody's on TikTok. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna start making videos. I didn't even know what my niche was. I didn't know what I was gonna make videos about. Nothing. So I was like, I just put out my first video. It was like, it was like those people were doing those videos. Like, oh, like one one week of being in Houston. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, like yeah. one month, and then like they get like more Mexican and Mexican. Yeah, yeah. I was like, bro, I'm from Dinuba, like the five five nine Fresno area. I was the only white kid in my school. Obviously, I was like bound to end up with a Latina girl. Yeah. So, yeah. So then uh, I was like, I'm gonna make a video like about dating my my girlfriend. So I was like, I made a little dancing video. I used I used a sound on there. It was like a song, but it, I don't even think it was a Mexican song. Yeah. It was like a Colombian Puerto Rican song. But I was like, yeah, one week after dating a Latina, <laughs> this is <laughs> and that. It went viral. It got went viral like a million views. But before that, I mean, before that, I was putting out videos. I was just doing like simple trends, like getting views, what and whatnot. I did that trend. Everybody liked it. Like, why don't you invite the carne asada? All that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, I was yeah. like, all right. I was like, all right. People like this. Like. People started like another thing. A lot of people related to me. Yeah. So a lot of girls would be like, "Oh, I'm dating a white boy too," or or like a guy would be like, "Oh, my girlfriend's Latina too." Yeah, like, yeah. so people related to it, and that's what like I think you got to make content people relate to. Yeah. So, yeah, I started that. Started blowing up on TikTok bef- like during my football career. So now I'm like in my head, I'm like, this shit's crazy. Like never had, never like, had followers they like this play and that. Or they I was like, TikTok. yeah, do I want to do sports <laughs> or I want to do social media? So I'm like, damn. 
then like then my teammates start seeing my tiktok keep in mind like i don't have a lot of mexicans on my yeah. team this and that so everybody like what are you doing like what are you doing with your tiktok bro like white doing all this mexican stuff whatever it's like you don't know where i'm from whatever this and that but and then my coaches start seeing it coaches are like bro lep you're really making tiktoks I, <laughs> I had one coach tell me he was like one coach told me he was like yeah bro for it. he was like yeah every tiktok more you keep making more tiktoks the 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 more gay you're gonna turn out <laughs> so i was like i was like all right whatever like a little motivation whatever yeah and then eventually like they seemed like most my videos started getting views constantly the coaches started being like oh you're getting paid now i was like little by little by little the creator phone wasn't even out yet yeah so i was like not yet but like i'm working for it then eventually i'm starting to get paid and once you start getting paid it's like you don't care what anybody thinks so. yeah yeah it's just crazy like it just happened like like i'm going to school to be a teacher like it's like it's weird like it's weird that the, the social media and like i'm i'm trying to pursue a career in this and i'm like i don't know what to do right now so but like yeah do you want to be a teacher do you like or do you yeah like like i mean my whole life like because i didn't have social media in my in my mind yet like i didn't even think it was possible so i like at the time i'm like yeah like what do i want to do i went to school to be an engineer at first yeah i was good at math i tried it i was like i can't do d1 football and engineering it was just too too much football with too much homework like, yeah crazy i was like i always want to be a teacher people like you don't get paid enough this and that but i was like it's what i want to do because like i just like influ influencing people yeah. so i'm like kids perfect so yeah i become a teacher whatever do my degree then i blow up on tiktok in the middle of my education i'm like i'm already too far like i'm in school i've been in school for six years so yeah. i can't just like quit quit <laughs> yeah i can't just quit so i might as well finish so that's what i'm doing right now i'm doing like an internship right now but it's just it's hard like being in a school right now and and um I mean, all my students, like all my students, knew who I was when I when I came to class. Like, hey, immediately, I have, I have a student. I have a student who was a, like I have multiple students who are fans of me before I even came in that yeah. classroom. One of my students even got a mullet because of me. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. Like I walk in and this kid, like he got a mullet. He just like staring at me. Like I was like, this kid, this that's kid, tight, bro. Like that's tight. Yeah, like, they they can see like yeah that you're also you know pursuing to becoming a teacher, but you're also still doing yeah. what the young kids are doing, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean like. I mean, you're not old. Before. You're probably like, what, 21? 24? Yeah, yeah 24. Like <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, not even like when I walked into the office, yeah, even like not even just kids, like administrators, like walk into the office. And I was scared because like, bro, like teachers and, and people like in those roles, like they get sh they get shamed for having social media. Yeah. Like they got to watch every step, every everything they say, this and that. But I mean, like on my mind, like I don't know if I do want to end up like finishing. Like after I finish school, I don't know. Like we'll see what happens this yeah. summer. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Like I mean, I put too much work in it. So yeah, I'll be done. I'm be, I'm doing uh, entertainment business marketing at the LA Film School. Yeah, so I'll be done. Uh, I have my last class this month, so mm -hmm. I'll get a bachelor's in that. But I I I mean, it's just something there, you know, in case you want to do something else ever, bro. Yeah, like this, yeah. I mean, if you put enough work into it, obviously you can make it last forever. And if mm -hmm. you if you invest the money correctly, bro, you can. I mean, you can make it happen because uh, there's fools, you know, making a living off of this, bro. Yeah, getting paid hundreds of thousands a month dog just to make videos yeah like i mean it's not easy but like the easy part is almost like the easy part is getting the followers the easy part is, is getting them. the clout keeping them the, the hard part is once you once you start getting all those followers you're like how do i turn this into money yeah i don't know if you heard uh there i was listening to a podcast that burner was on uh -huh. burner yeah no i know burner I, I haven't listened to his podcast Wait, so yeah uh, he was on the uh, on the breakfast club but he was mm -hmm. speaking on how he could all he can sell the cookies brand yeah okay and be, yeah and be cool but you told me the he story, makes yeah. more money off his music bro like the music is that money's never gonna stop coming yeah you said he makes more money than snoop Dogg, or yeah. no 50 cent yes yeah, so i'm sure 50 like, cent yeah yeah crazy shit but i'm saying he was he was saying that money's never gonna end bro because the people are always gonna be listening to it bro bro so exactly yeah getting paid. Mm -hmm. yeah that's how it was like with the song i just dropped yeah i'm like a lot of people are, you, what, what, do, what do people think for when you first are like hey, i want to start saying Correa. you get a, like was it, it people bro, supportive or people are like, ah, this was whack. Bro, it's like, nah, it's like, it's like 50, 50. Like, I don't know if it's like, honestly, like, I don't know if it's, it's, if it's cause I'm white or whatever, but like, um, I mean, I listen to, I listen to a lot of like new regional Mexican music and like, yeah. it's like a lot of people like not even, you don't even have to have the best voice, this and that and not sing. It's more like just flowing, rapping, this and that. So I was like, that's the style of music I like listening to, but, um, it's still new though. Like, the yeah, yeah, thing yeah, still, yeah like, it's, it's still, still new. new. I mean, bro. either way, like. I don't know. There's like a trend on TikTok right now of like, of a lot of people hating on music. Yeah. Like it's crazy. And like even Evelyn, like my wife, she's in, she's in, she's a musician. She played in Norteño's like 
every day. Like that's all I listen to. But like she told me, like just be careful, cause cause the Mexican music industry is like they don't take they like they're very critical on everything. Yeah, I've got so, a shit, bro. For like mm -hmm. for me doing sp videos in Spanish, like oh, bro, you don't speak Spanish, right? You're a pocho, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Like all this crazy shit. I'm like, bro, I'm just. This is the way I learned how to speak Spanish, bro. Yeah. And this is what the fuck I'm gonna do, bro. Like I don't know what to tell you guys. Yeah, like people, people be like, "Oh yeah, like you're an Osabo kid." I'm like, bro, like my my family doesn't speak Spanish. Yeah. Like I I taught myself. Like I taught myself through immersion and being with with my girls. So like I know what I know, and like I mean, at the end of the day, like my my suegro and my suegra have taught me to speak like properly. Yeah. And I feel like the people who don't like. They've always corrected me. Like every time I talk Spanish, they always correct me. Not in a bad way, but just like because we want you to like we want when people we want when people hear you, we want them to be like, wow, like he actually like knows the yeah, words. Yeah, because there's fools you know that do sing out there in Spanish, but they don't. They tell you know how to do. They don't. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we just would like I don't know. Like I mean, I saw something yesterday that was like, oh, I don't make music to like, like whatever. If it sounds good, it sounds good. But I make music basically just to tell my story and to like just sh and show my yeah, feelings. Uh, what was that yeah. chick that just came out? The little yeah, yeah, Yaritza. Yeah, that's yeah. So like, for example, hard, bro, bro. So I was like, I seen um, cause I first promoted my song on yeah. TikTok and it blew up like, a lot of like this was the first like kind of like singing corrido video I put out. It was getting it got hella views. I was just like, I made my first song in Spanish, posted it, hella views, hella positive feedback. Like yeah. everybody was like, oh, I thought this was gonna be ass, but it's actually it slaps. Yeah. So I was like, bet I'm gonna I'm gonna get a manager, get a studio, record it properly, this and that. And like there was a time at TikTok where everybody was showing a lot of love, and then now I've been noticing, like I I posted again like recently, and like it still got a lot of love, but then I seen a lot of hate comments. Yeah. And I was like, I was like confused because I was like everybody said that that it was it was good whatever, so I was like I'm gonna test it out again. I I, I did Yaritza. I did a TikTok with Yaritza song, same thing. Everybody was like this is trash this this and that yeah i'm like bro like if if people are saying her song is trash like it's just that her say hey, quick on, on the youtube when it came that's out. what i'm saying like she got hella views like i mean bro she's she different it's because her voice is different bro i mean people are not used to it like she and can, she's a yeah. kid bro you know and she can clearly sing like yeah. bro she has a voice she has a good voice so i'm like bro if people are hating on her then it's just like I don't know. I don't know why it's like a trend right now to like hate it's on. It's like Jenny sixty nine for like people yeah. hate on it, bro. She bro, she, but bro, like she hit a million views in twenty four hours, dog. Like that's yeah, bro, crazy. and 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 I'm pretty sure when people see Jenny sixty nine oh, in yeah. person, it's like hey, everybody wants to be her friend, but it's like yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know what it is, but I don't. Know, I'm working on my second song now. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, like now by the time you know it, bro, you're gonna have a hundred songs out, dog. Like there's this is what I, I this is what I always tell artists for like. I I that I mean I'm like bro you there it's free to post the music dog like you can yeah. post it on SoundCloud Spotify mm -hmm. like you can like I don't know if you heard of the California there's a uh, yeah. where like the skulls mm -hmm. they yeah, yeah. face my homies on there uh they they're always this fool's always dropping videos for every month like two three videos a month dog music yeah. videos music videos and they have millions of views bro they were before the pandemic uh ended they were uh they did Colombia uh, before they started I mean they were in Colombia and they were scheduled to go to like all South America bro all these crazy places. And that's the thing about the the Latino culture is that you can if you speak Spanish, bro, you can go perform like in South America, you everywhere, know, Argentina, Ecuador, mm -hmm. all these crazy Puerto Rico, all these crazy places, bro. You're not limited to the United States. I'll say bro. that's what people get confused. People yeah. are like, oh, um, you got to be big in the U.S. No. Like, nah, like if you if you look at like a lot of people in the U.S., like six nine, for example, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people hate on him here in the U.S., bro. Six nine's fan base is worldwide. That's yeah, why. Did, that's why he's bigger than like everybody. Like that song he did with Anuel. Uh, yeah. That song, mm -hmm. like that thing, has like I think like something billion views, bro. Like, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Like of views, it's dog. it's not about like blowing up where you're from or what the country yeah. you live in. Like you're if, still making money off of it, bro, because people are listening to it. Like you go, like I think uh, Six Nine did a concert in like Germany or something. Oh yeah, yeah. And that like sold out. It was like crazy, crazy crowd. It was like you don't need to be big here. Like he, could, you could be big and anywhere. Plus with the internet, bro. Like I said, mm -hmm. everyone's saying dog. Like it's it's crazy, bro. Like you can f be big as. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. crazy. That inner, yeah, the opportunities are endless to be out. There's so many people out there in the world. You think people from where you live, like you live that, where you live in Danube, you said no? no uh, yeah, right? Danube, like, for, yeah, like Valley, Central Valley, yeah. Do you think people will support you there, bro? Or you think, like... I would say when I when I lived in Colorado, I felt like... And I would go to places. I would go to places like Denver, uh, yeah. like Oklahoma, New Mexico, like hella love. Like, I would be like... Because I wasn't living in Fresno at the moment, but when I came back to Fresno... I was like, oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot different, this and that, and like, I noticed, um, 
I just notice people, certain people that have have clout in the valley, but yeah. don't really have clout. Like people just that are well known and just in the valley. Like me, like I was like I'm well known in a lot of in a lot of places. Cause I mean I've been to random areas and been noticed, yeah. asked for photos in the mall, this and that. But like I come back home and like people act act like they don't know who you are. Yeah, that, that are that are only big in the area. They're like people are like, oh, you're gonna change once you get money. Yeah, like yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's, and like, I mean, I met a lot of I met a lot of my like supporters. Yeah. Um, like the other day, I got a I have my barber now. He um he cut my hair yesterday, and he was like, bro, I was like, he was like, I was scared to like ask you, cause like I mean, I didn't know if you were gonna be like cocky or yeah. or this and that. I was like, nah, like, bro, I always been humble. Like to be honest, yeah. like. If I don't suspect you like talking bad about me or anything, and it's just like I'll hang out with anybody, like I'll yeah. chill with. That's how I was in high school. And my friends, I had, I was hanging out with the emo kids. Yeah, I was hanging everybody. out with, with the gangsters. Everybody, yeah. like, so I, I'll get along with everybody. But he was scared to ask you what, like, he was just scared. Like he was like, oh, I told him. He said, how how many uh have you? Oh no, he said how many like famous people have you met? Oh okay. And then I was like, like a few, but like the biggest one for me was like Eslabon Armado. Yeah. When I met them, when I met Brian and, and Pedro, I was like, that was. I was like, they may not be the biggest like Mexican artists in the world, but for me, that was like, cause I listened to them a lot. Yeah. So that was like, I was like, I was like, I was shaking to be honest. Like that was crazy. Cause I love the music and whatnot. Yeah, I done that shit with like comics. Like I met like Felipe Esparza uh -huh. and shit like that. Like, and to other people, it's like, they're like, oh, uh, like whatever. But to you, it's like, that was like your inspiration right there. Yeah. So. Like, like seeing him, like meeting him and like, uh, at first I was like, I thought like just from what everybody was telling me, you know, like, oh, I feel like you don't do this or don't like talk to mm -hmm. him like this or like, but he was hella cool dog. And it was me and him in the green room, and he was just explaining to me, you know, everything, the other aspects of of, of making money in this industry. Yeah. A lot of comics, they want to think, they want to just make money on comedy, bro. Mm -hmm. But they're, like, for me, when I travel, I try to, if I go to Fresno, I hit up the, the business and say, like, hey, bro, I'm in your town. Uh, you need some promo videos. So now, instead of getting paid my only 50, 100 bucks that I get for the show, mm -hmm. now I'm leaving with freaking six, 700 bucks, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I'm over here trying to hustle and make that's that money over there is allowing me to do comedy bro which what i is what i love and, and i'm passionate about but that that's what there is what's funding that shit though. yeah like, social media is funding that yeah i know i'm not i'm not getting like we went to florida with uh you seen polar bear on yeah TikTok. yeah polar bear yeah he hangs yeah. out with uh with um with og, OG taco, taco og so yeah that fool hit me up and he's like hey bro come i'm like hey bro can i jump on with you in florida he's like yeah you just gotta pay your own shit like you're yeah and everything yeah. like I'm with it, dog. Like, but I got the experience, you know, to go do uh, improv in Miami, you know. Yeah. Which I'm grateful for. Like, he gave me the opportunity because there's a lot of comics that would say, "Ah, hey, man, fuck that." Like, even if you pay your own shit, dog. Mm -hmm. And it it was tight, bro. Like, it was a good experience. Yeah. It was like on the go, bro. We just like we got to Miami, bro. In the morning at seven, me and my manager, we were like, "Fuck, what the fuck are we gonna do?" We didn't get a hotel, nothing. Yeah. Uh, Polar Bear was like, yeah. Uh, Polar Bear was uh, John was a. Uh, Hey, bro, uh, you guys can stay in my room if you want, because this one's hella ghetto, dog. Bro, sometimes like, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We were going to shower at the uh, Planet Fitness, because I got the the place where you can take go to anyone in the, yeah, in, yeah. In the country. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm, or like, hey, or like, hey well, let's just go shower at Planet Fitness, and then we'll figure it out later. Um, but he's like, hey, I'm gonna, uh, you guys can keep the room if you want. I'm like, nah, we're just in a shower full, and then we're going to head out and go do some videos. So we showered, chilled. Uh, and then from there, after the show, bro, we just went from Orlando, uh, from Florida straight to Orlando, like three and a half hours, bro. We just did yeah. that, boom. Yeah, and now I want, I want to travel. Like, I want to travel. I want to start this summer, bro. Yeah. We'll have to do some stuff because I want to start traveling. Yeah, we'll do. But, like, I think me and you, bro, we could do stuff together, bro, and it's, it'll click. Like, yeah. you know, like you perform, I, I perform, or I, I bring you up, dog, host your shit, like. And I'll say we I, I, we I, could get Evelyn we could get Evelyn to perform too. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm yeah. like I, I know I'm known in the truck world because of the here we go game videos, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yep. these fools are like they if I go to a truck meet, like, hey fool, don't make fun of my car, bro. <laughs> don't make fun of my overpriced oh, truck. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Here we go again. Like and those those videos are funny. Like I literally was just looking at trucks, dog. I was like I went on Facebook marketing, I'm like, bro, they want five thousand for a ninety five Silverado? Like what the fuck? I'm like, let me screenshot I'll say, this. I'll say you should have done my truck because I don't even see bro, it. trucks. I was like, I got mine at a dealership, but at the time, like, I remember giving you bought it, yeah. Bro, I wanted to get a truck so bad, and like, bro, I didn't know what, like, I didn't know what nothing was. I didn't know what like HD swap, drop, yeah. this and that. I was like, bro, I seen a truck. I was like, I want it, but I bought my truck, and then I told people how much I got it for, and they were like, bro, you could get that for half the price in Texas, and I was like, what did you pay for it? Like twenty four k. What year is it? Twenty twelve. Damn. Now, yeah, I know. That's but, crazy because I sold mine for um. So I had a 2011 the uh, Z71 from yeah. before. I sold it to my homie for twelve thousand. Mm -hmm. He sold it to where he was working at the dealership for I think like thirteen or fourteen thousand. 
these will sold it for twenty two thousand, bro. No, that's what I'm miles. saying, bro. Like, it's just crazy how much. And I bought it six years ago, full full. And it, it, all because of, bro. Like, if you yeah. think of it, bro. Honestly, bro, it's all because of the, the Takuache scene, yeah. bro. Like, trucks are so highly demanded well, the right now. Fresno, uh, uh, the auto auto city. Yeah, those fools. I, I would do a lot of videos for them, bro. And people would fuck. Oh, fools are overpriced and blah 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 blah. Like, bro, bro. But at the end of the day, you have a you have like a 16 year old walking in the in the yeah. dealership and with their dad. Like, bro, like they don't do anything but work construction or this and yeah. that. So like those kids are just like, dad, my dad will sign for it, and then I'll just pay the monthly payment. It's my only responsibility. Why not? Yeah, and there's a, a lot of people will talk shit about them, but I'm like, some most some of their trucks are already done, bro. You but they're still to, selling them. Yeah, you'd have to drop it. You don't have yeah. to slam. Like these fools are like they're done already, so you don't gotta. Because if no they weren't like, I mean, if they weren't selling them, like why not? Yeah, there's they're they're bro. They're, every time I would go, there was somebody trying to get one though. <laughs> bro, yeah, like I mean, I seen their Instagram. It's it's crazy. They they got some nice trucks. But then again, I was at a truck show and people were like, "Ah, oh, that club right there, they just buy their trucks from Auto City. They don't even build them." Who cares? It's so cool. I was like, 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 "Yeah, like people take the fun out of it, bro." Like, yeah, the, no, it's the, just, bro, it's just like the thing is just to have fun with your crew dog go out. But at the same chill. time, if you like, if I got money, why not? Like, why yeah. don't I, why just buy it? Like, why just, I could just buy it built and then save me time yeah. and then do more to it. It's the same thing, like in all the car worlds, with like low riders and racing, like all that shit's the same, the same shit, dog. Like it was like I I, I had an S10 with the LS1, bro. Yeah, and I was racing it, but like I bought it already. The truck was pretty much stock truck, but it had the motor. Yeah, it was running everything in it. But I still dropped like another almost fifteen grand. You could to, always do something more. It's There's never gonna all, end, yeah. bro. You never yeah. gonna end. Never, bro. Never in Fresno. You guys are crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, I live in a, like a little town of eight thousand people, and I feel like four thousand of them are fucking taquaches, bro. I like uh, so you know, Sir Burpee. Or you met him? Yeah, Sir Burpee. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, follow each other. Out out yeah, shout out Sir Burpee. Burpee. You suck, fool. <laughs> Now that fool right there, fool, that was cool ass dude, but that fool is always buying trucks, dog. That fool. Bro, yeah. He, well, he's Team Billet, right? Uh, I think it's a Billet. He got, yeah, I mean, I see the sticker. Him right? and uh, that fool, uh, Tukan. Tuk- yeah, yeah Tukan, Tukan 559. Yeah, yes, that sir. Fool, those fools are fun, dog. Every last time we went to the, I went to the, H, the HD crew one. Is mm-hmm. that guy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck's that fool's name? I can't remember his name, fool. He's tatted on the face, fool. Oh, he has tats all over his face? Yeah. <laughs> I think I know, you're, uh, I think I know, he's from Fresno, right? No, he's from Dinuba. The HD custom oh, so he, crew. So he's from Dinah? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> but the, they want me to go. They're doing one again Uh, the right there in Dinuba. Was it in Dinuba? Yeah, it was in Dinuba. They had a, they did, I, I went to a Takwache Island. That was in Sir Burpee and Tucan were there. Takwache Island? I don't know if they threw it. I think it was a, yeah, LST. I think they're doing, they're doing one in Merced too. Like a burnout pit and everything. Coming yeah, there, bro, there's a, yeah, there's a truck show in Merced or something. Yeah, they, they invited me to, it's called like. I think it was called something 99 or yeah, I don't know. My homie, uh, take over 99. They want take, to yeah, no. Too. So he was messaging me yesterday. They want me to go, but hey, fool, you got to pay, dog. <laughs> he, told, he told you you got to pay? No, I told him you got to pay, Oh, dog. yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, he because uh, he, he hit me up and was like, but you want to come to truck shows? I was like, I'm always down for truck shows, yeah. whatever. So he's like, send me send me photos or yeah. whatnot. But for for me, like, I, like I, I, it's not that I want to charge these fools. It's just like, it's bro, your It's it, your job. No, yeah. It's like, bro, you guys are charging all these fools to go in, right? Yeah. Why can I get a piece Just of it? Just give me a little yeah, piece. Yeah. Like, why can I, it's cool. Yeah, I get free tickets, but still, I got to drive two hours from here to yeah. Merced, to Fresno, to L.A., wherever it is. And it's not, I'm not trying to be a dick, but this is what this is how I feed my family. Yeah, every, this is how we do it, dog. And nothing's free, bro. Yeah. Everybody, a lot this of people. This charging me right now like $1,000 to do this, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah. But this like this is like we're helping each other up. Like, like I said, bro, the the all these clubs, all these the people, they and so most of them are understanding, bro. Like, hey, this is what I charge, bro. All right, here you go, bro. Here's the deposit. I pay you the rest when you get here. And it's like I'm promoting your show, bro, to bring people to your event to make you more yeah. money. And you're and at the end, you're like you're in the, doing a show at a freaking in a fairgrounds, bro. So you got money. Yeah, like if you, if you could, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I don't know, man. You guys just need to be more understanding, bro. If you got money to build a twenty thousand dollar truck, bro, exactly. Yeah, and burn out some tires. I I, do, I I would like to do that shit. I had a truck going to burn. Bro, out I want to. Yeah, I want to do it, but I don't have a what the double drive axle or whatever the double drive oh, yeah. shaft. I just have a single drive shaft. Could just do it. That's just break it. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, just break it. <laughs> when, I, when I was racing my truck, um. There was the guys from the street all along. The S10 was there and all kinds of shit. So these fools were racing before us. Mm-hmm. So the track was super sticky, bro. And uh, my homie had a Cobra at the time. He had like a crazy Cobra, like yeah. twin turbo. And we're both lining up. And I'm like hitting the two-step. Pop the clutch. Boom. The dry line snapped. 
He make you pay for it? Nah, that was my dry line. Oh, 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 truck. Okay. oh yeah, 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 my, my yeah, snap bro yeah. was just done. I'm like, ah, yeah. I yeah. felt it was like it was gonna be. I was there at the track all day. We couldn't get on because they were racing. I'm like, finally, we get to get on. And I'm like, I should have changed, yeah. changed the U joints though, though. Yeah, yeah bro. The, the trucks are expensive though. That shit's getting. They're, they're kind of calmed down a little bit. Yeah. My 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 dream truck. I'll say, do, do you do you have to be a Takwache to have a truck or what? Nah, you can nah. just be a regular OG. Regular OG. I was like, what is a Takwache? I don't know what the I don't even know who, who I wonder who invented that shit. It came from Texas, no? Nah, bro. I heard um I seen videos talking about like duck watches and have been a thing for for a long time. It just the meaning has changed. Yeah, like I heard it back in Mexico. It used to be a thing in Me- in Mexico, but like it was just people listening to corridos. Oh, but, okay, because like some for last time last time said they uh they call the four people that drive Fords mapaches, way mapache, <laughs> <laughs> so, which is a uh uh what's it called raccoon. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it like, isn't, oh, right. Oh, yeah. And then they, they switch it to a possum, huh? Like, yeah, yeah. Possum? The, taquache. The, the la quache. Taquache. It's like, uh, t- I, I yeah. like the word for taquachitas. Yeah, taquachitas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, it's yeah. probably cruise with them, no? Little chick, little taquachitas. Yeah, little taquachitas. They, they have cruise? Uh, I don't know. Cruise? I, I, I know. Um, There's truck girls cruise, no? The I don't trucks? know. I've never seen one. I've seen a couple. Yeah, I've seen, oh, they, uh, Chevy Doll. Where's that one at? She, uh, she lives in, uh, Fort Worth over in Texas. Oh yeah, Chevy doll. She got like a white, a white, white and pink. What was the truck. other girl's name? The uh, she got really popular back in a while back. The RST girl. I don't know. You remember her? She has a, a RST Chevy, the the red, red one, and she would always take like take pictures with oil all over her chest. Oh, for real. <laughs> and then she would always be like changing her oil. I feel like you should do that. You should. That would. I used to be a mechanic for six years, bro. I feel I like had a, I had a repair yeah. shop. Yeah, I feel like that would be good content though. You could like. Just throw put the oil on, yeah. So my first one of my first videos I ever did it was like, I don't fabuloso myself. I'm like, Gah. I'm like, si te quieres ser famoso, te tienes que echar fabuloso. And then from there, just kind of was kinda, that one of the first videos you, you yeah, did? Yeah, that was like one of the first yeah. things that like kind of popped off for me. And then from there, I kind of taking it, started taking it more serious and started yeah. hating it, bro. And started and uh, yeah, bro, that shit was tight, though. It was a uh, social media is awesome, bro. I like it, man. Yeah. When yeah. did when did you when did, when did you feel like all right, this is this is it? This, like I'm starting to pop off. Just that first, that first video. Nah, bro. So when I was like really starting to pop off, I feel like was, I um I needed a job in the summer. Keep in mind, I was like in school. Yeah. Like I was. Uh, a lot of people would be like, when I would like talk about not having money and stuff, but they were like, oh well, we'll get a job, be a man, whatever, what what not. I was like, bro, I'm going to class full time. I'm playing college football. College football, you don't have time. Yeah. Like you wake Practice up, all day, huh? wake up at six a.m. You have weights, class meetings practice more meetings homework bed so it's like where when do you want me to work like so did you guys win any you, any 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 bowls when i was at wyoming we uh were in the point setia bowl and we played in charger stadium we lost to byu by like i think it was like three points and then after that we played uh in the idaho potato bowl yeah um against eastern east no uh so you're playing North, d1, we, d1 yeah d1 yeah we were playing northern michigan we were or it was either yeah northern or or eastern Michigan. We're playing them at, at Boise State's field, yeah. the one with the blue turf. Got the blue turf. We played them. We beat them. So I got a bowl game ring, Dang. the Idaho Potato Bowl. Yeah. So, te- so technically, you're in an N C the way video game. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> technically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, they don't make them anymore. I don't. I, I, I heard of that what happened, huh? Yeah, because of what happened. But uh, now they're paying athletes, so we'll see what happens now. But um, yeah, no. So when talking about when I started like popping off, um, yeah. I would go home. I would go home for summer. And I would like, I needed, I would, I'd just make some quick money. Cause we didn't have to, when I transferred to my second school, we didn't have yeah. to stay for summer workouts. We could go home. So I, I was like, all right, I need a job. And it was like, I'm only home for three months. So I started doing construction with my suegro. Yeah. And I started posting. Oh, like, I did see some of those videos. Yeah. Yeah. So then that was when I, I would get like, you know, before I would get like 200 K 300,000 views on TikToks, so yeah. whatnot. I did one day we we're doing construction, just laying cement and then. I just posted a, a simple video. It was like only like 20 seconds. We we're just like pouring the concrete, putting on sunscreen on my face, and then like eating tacos after. Because we I always, seen that one. yeah, we always bring the comal and then with, and then Abuela will make us just some yeah. leftover meat and some tortillas right there, like fire. But um, I posted it right after work. We we're driving home, and bro, like this video was like, I would ref- I would like refresh it one second and like 10,000 more views, and Crazy. then wait three seconds, refresh it again, 10,000 more, 10,000 more. And I was like, bro, it's crazy how many, like, so I started doing like a series of doing construction with my suegro. Yeah. And it was like, 
what Take the off. like i was getting like like i got i would get like forty thousand followers in a day and it was oh, like damn. what the f but then yeah that those videos and then also when i would do videos i would do like like cooking tamales on christmas yeah with my family or like just whenever i'm make, making pozole and then people would like when i would wear like the little apron and stuff <laughs> so yeah Mandilon? yeah yeah Mandilon? so that was like that was my niche for a moment and then yeah i just kind of stuck with it but that was when i was like really like really really oh and then when i was like really when i was like really like wow like i said when i went to the eslamo Armado concert mm. and i was like i was going to this concert and i was like this could go two ways i'll go and not get recognized at all just like it is what it is or because i was it was a concert where i'm from and i was like people where i'm from like they don't they don't think of me like that yeah coming back to where like do you feel like if people where you're from support you so i was like i'm either gonna go nobody's gonna notice me or it's just gonna be like crazy like everybody so i go i'm standing in line and like it's like whatever like do you ever feel like when you're walking around you can just tell people yeah. know who you are uh, it's for for me when so when i have my hair up like people look at me and they'll kind of like stare at me and they, yeah like, like like look at me and then later i'll get a message like hey bro were you at costco or were you yeah. at walmart <laughs> yeah bro exactly so like i'm walking to go stand in line well keep in mind Brian, yeah. Brian Tovar, the bass player yeah. on Eslamon Armado, messaged me and was like, hey, bro, you want to, you want to, you and your girl got tickets, I'll get you in for free. So I was like, oh, shit, this is going to be crazy. Yeah. So got, got, got my tickets, whatever. I actually, I had actually bought tickets three hours, like, before he messaged me. So I already bought them, whatever. So I messaged him, like, can you get me VIP, all this, whatnot. He was like, I'll see what I can do. So I get to the concert, I'm standing in line, and like I said, I'm just walking down the line, and I could just feel it. Like, you could just feel, like, people. Yeah. I'm not even looking at them. They're like, you can just feel like everybody's looking at you. So I'm like, shit, like, this is crazy. <laughs> so I stand in line. Nobody said hi yet because a lot of people, like you said, end up like being like shy and then they message you after like, hey, I think I seen you. Yeah. And then we're standing in line. I'm like, whatever, like it's, it seems whatever. Then I get inside the concert and then still same thing. You could kind of tell people are like trying to f figure it out if it is me or not. And then I get VIP and then I go and the VIP was right in front of the stage. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, shit, it is him. <laughs> and so I'm sitting in the, I'm sitting at my table, like literally like Pedro Tobar is like right there. Yeah. He's going to be sitting right there in front of me. I'm sitting there on stage and then I start getting, I was like, you know, what? I'm going to start, I'm going to check my TikTok, see people comment. What it, first thing I see in my comments is, hey, bro, I see you in VIP. <laughs> come, come say what's up. So I was like, Evelyn, I'm going to go say what's up. And like, so the VIP was right in front of the stage. And then behind that was general admission. Yeah. So the first person, it's like a waterfall effect. When people recognize you, it's a waterfall effect. So I go to take a picture with that guy. Bro, I was, after that, I was taking pictures with the whole front row, yeah. like walking down. Like, that was when I noticed, like, damn. Like they take you on stage, though? They bring you up on stage? Bro, yeah. So back to, to go to that, like, I mean, like, bro, they see me. Like, they have, like, record label. Like, DMG was there. They're sitting on the side. Um, like, obviously, Dell Records, all that. So, I mean, they, like, even the security, I, it was funny knowing at first the security was, like, kind of strict with me. Like, make sure you stand here and here. Once they saw that, that I was taking, I was taking pictures with everybody. Yeah. Once they seen that, I was just, I was literally jumping fences to go, like, to the bathroom and shit and coming back. I wasn't even checking in with security anymore. Yeah. They didn't even care. So, um, yeah, then um, after that, I took, I was, like, literally walking down the whole front row, just pictures and, like, people just reaching out their phones to me, this and that. And then, uh, actually, what got me backstage is there's this new artist his name is uh adrian gallardo mm -hmm. he's with dmg he, is, he came out with like a new song uh, el aventador and it was like a song i was listening to like constantly and he's not like he's not like super big yet or anything but it was a coincidence he ended up performing that day and like evelyn was like i was like no way whatever and then i seen him after he was done performing i went over to the side gate and i and then he was like he recognized me and then he let me in. He let me in yeah. the backstage. And then, so then Eslamo Armado comes out to perform and they're performing and I'm on the side of the stage and then their mom, Pedro's mom, Pedro and Brian's mom sees me and Evelyn. And she's like, oh my God. Like <laughs> She sees me and Evelyn. Like she's like, oh my, her eyes got all big and she was like, you guys got to come here right now. Like she already know who we were. Yeah. And I didn't even know that they, like, I didn't know that, that I knew, I knew Brian, but I didn't know his family like knew who I was. So she was like, come on stage. We go upstage, like, I'm, like, taking videos and whatnot, and, like, I was on front of the stage, like, recording the crowd, and, like, everybody was screaming, and that was when I noticed, like, wow, like, social Whoa, media is crazy. How long crazy. ago was that? That was in, 
bro that was like right before we met and in, in, we met in february so oh, like damn, really recently happened <laughs> yeah so like in january and that was like social media can get like hard as in like there's times where you feel like well it's not working out. like it's not working or i'm not famous anymore yeah but it's, it's for me it's not a, like not not that i'm not famous it just makes me want to be like all right i need to do more so I can yeah i need to do I more need. but then again you also like maybe the stuff you're putting out right now isn't like is like whatever but you got to realize like you posted a video a month ago that hella people saw you yeah and like that's still lasting and like eventually you're gonna have another video that pops off yeah you like, just got to keep going facebook bro i have like at least at least 15 videos bro with over a million views bro it's crazy like, on yeah and you said you're making a, facebook reels is where it's at yeah facebook reels yeah I mean, it's, and there's so many and the people on facebook bro there's they're more uh obviously you do get like yeah there's like a lot of people like oh what a waste of time this video stupid. yeah yeah but for the most part the community there like people like you bro they like message you like hey bro that was funny hey keep up the good video like when i go live versus when i go live on instagram like live mm -hmm. on facebook everybody's like hey keep it up bro good job da, da, da. and on facebook instagram, so you think like, facebook yeah. is like way more way like more of a positive yeah more positive community, crowd bro. yeah more, more of a positive community. supportive There's community people always on there and what's good is that people can directly share your video to their page automatically so it's yeah. easier to go viral on there yeah right? i feel like facebook has a more broad broad set of it's audio. worldwide bro like, yeah like there's like old people and young people yeah instagram's kind of like i don't know so i feel i feel i don't know I, just feel, I mean so, like i feel sometimes it's good and then sometimes it's not I'll say most parents don't even let their kids have instagram yeah. and then older people don't use instagram so you're just working with like 24 to like yeah their, my my age group was uh i think the biggest one was 24 to like 40 42 to 45 yeah yeah bro social media is it's it's crazy bro but where we at? We're good? We good, bro? You're at 40. Oh, damn. You didn't tell me earlier? <laughs> how much? How long do you usually go? Usually 30, bro. Usually 30? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we usually do 30, bro. Yeah. Because I didn't want to stop it, bro. Nah, it was, no, go, yeah, it was going. It was going. Nah, I like, I like to do 30 minutes because I feel like after an hour, people are like, uh, kind of like, uh, all right, shut the fuck up already, dog. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny that that with like when you're that, doing podcasts the, uh, the hat you have, yeah, the Braves one. That's like one of the schools. That's their logo for the baseball oh, team. Oh, here in South yeah, oh, Al LSL High School. Yeah, yeah. that's tight. Are you make, and, and it's green, green color too. Are you gonna make um like little TikTok clips of the podcast? Yeah, we can. We could I'll do. Say, it. I, so I could post them and yeah, we could do yeah. something. We could say something funny, bro. Like white power or some shit. <laughs> 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 He's like, no. <laughs> He's I'll a white power while he wears like, a Canelo shirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey, see, he has a little sticker. For, remember, you were talking about it. One the hat. Yeah, cause like, uh, you know, you know that the little stickers used for something. I'm like, oh, bro. these. Yeah, bro. So funny story with the stickers <laughs> is like back in the day. Um, see, if we can add this to the to the to the short clip, though. Oh, cool. are we gonna add this to the podcast? Yeah, we were still. All right, going. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, we're still going. Okay. So like back. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll say back in the day, like when you would go to like the carnival, yeah. we would have like the Cinco de Mayo carnival or Raisin Day festival, whatnot. They always have like the people from the remate would yeah. come and they would sell hats. But they were fake. Yeah. So like people at school, like when you bring your hat to school, people would check your sticker, and they'll be like, "Nah, bro, this don't match up. This and that, your hat's fake." <laughs> this and that. So like for me growing up, the sticker I always kept my sticker because like if you got if it's real, the you can't tell me my hat's fake. So back then, like your sticker was like, that's how people would check you. Yeah. What were you saying it was for? To rub? So like to wipe? You know how they put it on top? Yeah. You keep it there so you can when you take your hat off, put your fingers on. Oh, the so you don't get so it dirty. Don't get it dirty. Just, yeah. You got it. Yeah, because some people are like team sticker or team no sticker. I've always been team sticker. And then I started switching it up. So, like, I put it on. But yeah. that's a good point, like, keeping it clean right here. I, but I used to, I put uh, mine well, I used on the to wear hats all the time, but I had the one. Remember the, they had the one that went across the whole bill? The, the whole, whole brand. Sticker? Yeah, the yeah big I hat. had that. Yeah, and you I used kept to have it. Those huh? ones. Yeah, you kept it? Yeah, back then. Yeah. I, used to, yeah. I even had, like, I have a bunch of old hats. I don't, I don't wear hats no more, really, but. I do have one they gave me though the other day that sick uh the uh A's one that says like Battle of the Bay. Do you have any hat stores in Salinas or? Yeah, there's a uh, we can go we can stop by. Yeah, I'm to my homies. Yeah. They uh have a shoe store, uh, retail boys. Yeah. Go yeah. check it out. But uh let them know where they can find you, bro. All your social media handles. Yeah, you can find me at so all my social media is Lep Official at L E P P Official. Um yeah, t it's on TikTok, Instagram. What you two listen to your all single? Is official, your single yeah. out right? You have a single yeah, out? single out. So I can soy. It just dropped on May twenty fifth. So Good. yeah, right now it's at like seventy three thousand on YouTube. So it's on all streaming, Spotify, yeah, iTunes, Spotify, everything. iTunes, Deezer, Amazon Music. We actually just made a. We made the the playlist cover for on Amazon Music. We made a. The, tum the Tumbados playlist. See, before he gets famous, boy, I got him first, dog. <laughs> yeah, like the it's like the the number one the number one uh, Tumbados playlist on Amazon Music. Which oh yeah. Is, 
which is crazy because like am like a lot of people were and like the thing is that you're not really like even pushing it that tough huh no i'm not like like right now not because like i mean like that's why you signed to a record label cause yeah they, they pay everything for you but me i'm doing independent so all the like i mean I get that, like bro. my manager says like like when you do it yourself is it's more it's more work take, but it's, yeah. you feel more it's more, feel more joy and pride in it bro more joy and pride right because like most of these people sign to record labels making their record label takes 70 percent of what they make yeah so it's like what's the point i mean what's the point of being famous if you're not making money exactly Ex bro that was the best thing i ever heard in my life <laughs> for real there's no point of being yeah. having a million followers if you're not making money what yeah exactly like what's the point like i mean at the end of the day eventually like you get tired of people recognizing you when you have no money so yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be like i'm gonna be like a look what's his name not a uh, Ramon Ayala for twenty dollars a picture, though. Bro, Ramon Ayala, <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah, Ramon Ayala, bro, that's that was a legend. He's yeah. still like, bro, he has a he has a, a performance this weekend in like Staten Island, New yeah, York. I think he was, like, I thought he was gonna be that was gonna be his like last one he just did a while back. Nah, no, I don't know. But yeah, man, you guys can check him out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook too. Facebook, yeah, Facebook, yeah, everything. YouTube, bro. make sure you go check out his single. What's it called again? Soy Quien Soy. Oh, soy Quien Soy, bro. Yeah, Check soy it out. Soy Quien Soy. Go download it. Yeah. Go download that shit. Listen to it. Bump it in your Taquache mobile, whatever, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for join, uh, joining us. Thank you guys for listening. You guys know you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, El Gordo Mamon, and all of it. TikTok, everything, bro. This is, will be a, this one will be out probably in a couple, probably by like, next month. Huh? Cause we have like three or four. Yeah. Yeah, we have three or four that we, we got to. Uh, maybe we'll drop yours first. But I don't know. Yeah, I might have to. Yeah, just, bro. Because I have, I stacked them up. Because for yeah, a while, I, 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 I slacked, bro. I'm like, all right, I missed one. I'm like, I told them for now, for we gotta start stacking them. Yeah, bro. yeah, Because yeah. I was releasing them every, every, uh, every other Thursday. I'll say, bro, every week, bro, get hours, get those view hours. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it was next Thursday, fuck it up. Cause I mean, bro, I'm sure, like, like I said, Evelyn's probably gonna come out here once a month. Yeah. So we can endless podcast, bro. Yeah, we could. We, we could just podcast. start talking about random shit. Yeah, we the white guy, new white guy, and the new new co-host. <laughs> 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 Yeah, man. Thank you again, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. I'm glad you're here in Salinas. Get to check out Salinas. It's crazy out here, bro, in the streets. But you guys, like I said, you guys can listen to this on all podcast platforms, bro. Uh, thank you guys. And shout out to uh, Liquid Death. Hopefully, you guys can spot sponsor me, bro. Please. It's pretty good. We out.